Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I'd love if you hit the red subscribe button and become a part of my growing YouTube family. In today's video, I'm bringing you a kitchen declutter, organize, clean with me. Tons of motivation and I wanna get this kitchen done. There's just something about decluttering that's just perfect right now because I want to get it done before the fall when the fall is just all about coziness and everything and you can't really be cozy with clutter so let's get this clutter out of the kitchen okay so first things first I'm going to start with some good old decluttering this cabinet area needs to be decluttered I have the cabinets and you have to take stuff out there's just a lot of stuff I'm not using and it doesn't make sense to keep it so I'm gonna make space you know out with the old in with the new if you want to think of it but you know let's just get started you, you've been hiding in the shadows way too long Always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong. Yeah, you better step into the light, just give it a try. Think that it's time you let that spark out. You've been hiding in the shadows way too long. Cause you're a work of art just sitting on you know on the shelf in this cabinet and I'm not using them especially the cookbooks with no pictures I mean I don't know is that just me let me know in the comments do you use cookbooks and do you have a particular type like do they have to have pictures and stuff like that so I'm thinking I'm going to donate about half of these cookbooks and maybe someone else can put them to a better use Okay, so I want to show you now what it looks like in here. Decluttered a lot on this shelf. This shelf is more neater. And up here I was able to put like paper towel, just stock them up neatly, line them up up there. And this shelf is um, dish towels, rags, cleaning cloths, stuff like that. I'm loving how this looks right now. Very happy with this. Okay, check. On to the next. Now I'm just going to make a little baking soda mixture so I could start cleaning inside the oven. To late, to a place so I lost my place.
guys, so now you see inside the oven how dirty it is and how I am not wanting to do this, but I have to clean this, so. All right, let's do it. You know what? I'm actually liking this because now it's looking very shiny and clean and the baking soda did a lot of the work for me. I didn't really have to scrub too hard. Everything kind of came off and very satisfying and clean. So I might be changing my whole stance on, you know, not liking cleaning clean the oven. Okay, now the bottom shelf, I think I'm just going to take whatever's in there out and just clean that inside because it's probably crumbs and stuff like that. top of the stove. Why is it always just so dirty? Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of three frying pans and one baking pan and a lid. I think it, they're just done with it. It's scratched up and just old looking and everything. So getting rid of these. So next I have to take everything out of the freezer because we took out the top shelf of the freezer to clean it and everything like that. So I'm gonna take everything out and then put the shelf in and organize it a little bit.
sorry for the tears in your eyes Hey, love, give me just one more try My daughter loves helping me with certain things and I love that she loves helping me because any kind of time I get to spend with her is just really nice and you know some, sometimes you might think you know you want to get done things done quickly and you don't want it to be like messy you want to get it done you know but it's okay if we spill some pancake mix you know and you could just clean it right up it's more important the time you share with each other than getting it done perfect. going to go through the old silverware and dispose of that and just put in some fresh new silverware. And now what I'm going to do is I have a new silverware holder that I had it got maybe last year and I never used it and I like it because it has the rubber on it so everything would stay in place and I'm also going to go through the old silverware and just get rid of all the stuff that is like stained and just that's really old because I have another set from when we had a housewarming party so it doesn't make sense having like a hundred spoons and forks and all that so I'll dispose of the old ones and just keep the new ones
Next, I'm going to wipe down the cabinets. I love having white cabinets, and I know you have to put in a little extra maintenance for it to keep it looking nice and clean, so I don't mind. I'm just gonna quickly wipe them down. Okay, so I knew these blinds would be dirty, but I didn't think they would be extremely dirty. So I'm happy I wiped these down, but honestly, I think the last time I did it was maybe a month ago. So I don't know, I guess in the summertime, I need to do it maybe twice a month. take some of that baking soda mixture I made earlier and use it for the counter over here. Hope you all enjoyed this video I really enjoyed doing this video because I got to declutter my kitchen give it a nice deep clean that it really needed and I get to bring you motivation and hopefully it inspired you to get up deep clean your kitchen as well even do a little bit of decluttering so I hope you enjoyed give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video